What is up, boys and girls? Goldie here, and I'm bringing you guys this, uh, not live zombies, but this is more of a video that I'd like Syndicate to see. I'm going to try and send it to him. I'm going to put, try and put his video responses. Hopefully it will work. If not, then it doesn't. But if it does, uh, it, that'd be awesome. Uh, so anyways, basically what this video is, is pro zombie perks. And with this, I will tell you guys some thoughts on how to get them pro. Thoughts of if there should be a limit of how many you can have. So like four, of course, would be the maximum that you could have unless you did an Easter egg. But the thing is, should you be allowed to have that many pro? Uh, probably not because you'd be too beastly if you got all eight perks and then you did Easter egg and got them all and then you got them all pro. It would be unfair. Easy thing. Uh, so I'll be going more into depth with those. Anyways, so basically some of these are copies from some custom zombie maps and some of these are mine and some of these are similar to syndicates the reason behind this is it's hard to make up uh, all the ideas syndicate does a really good job of it but he is more of a zombie player than I am so anyways quick revive and these are not in any special order quick revive would be faster uh, re faster barrier uh, repair reason for this is in custom zombies uh, with uh, like Modern Warfare custom zombies that is a uh, actual perk ball that they drop and I don't think it's worth a full ammo, perk so. slot because I would you not rather have jug or double tap or anything over faster rebuild the barriers because not many people do it but the main reason behind having it is so you can get those extra points and whatnot so say it takes 10 seconds to rebuild the barrier well with that it'll take like three Not seconds to five seconds back. to rebuild it uh, which would be really helpful to get some extra points and would allow players to actually rebuild barriers because how many times do you just leave them on Kino or or um Nocturne and Toad and all those maps like I don't really repair windows that much and it would be really good for keeping them out like for whenever like if they jump one out and it'd be really helpful in the long run when you're basically just need to get that window shut before someone comes after you or whatnot say your teammate didn't get it so you have to go get it he can't build a assess you you just build it instantly i think that'd be great for to have pro and i'll definitely have it in multiplayer and solo so moving on to my next one is PhD Flopper Pro and basically what this does is it is another custom zombie mobile warfare perk which is called self defense but basically what it does is when zombies hit you it gives damage to them. I know it um I don't know exactly what it the damage it gives to the zombies is but what I'm giving is 10% because 10% is not high enough for zombies to hit you and and you still survive. Because with Jug, it takes about 6 hits to down, and 10% each time the hit is only 60% damage to them. So they would kill you before you before the self-defense kills them. So basically that's the reason behind it. Uh, moving on to Double Tap Pro. This one was kind of hard to figure out, and the reason for it was there wasn't really any good things I could think of for it because basically the other ones could work for it but I felt it better in the slot that I put in but basically what it does is it allows you to throw your grenade faster and throw your equipment faster because how many times have you need to throw your monkey bomb and then you get trapped and you're just done for how would it feel if you could shoot way f or throw way faster I think that'd be really helpful uh, the next one is another one that's was kind of hard to figure out but I, I got it down uh, was stamina up pro uh, and basically what it does it, it allows you to reload while running and also I don't know if this would be too overpowered or not and if this ever does happen I'll be amazed but this second part to it is basically allows you to aim down sight and kill zombies while running uh, basically I don't know if that would be the best choice but if it is that would be nice uh, but I don't know, it, it seems like it could be pretty overpowered. Uh, so next one, 
uh, would be Jug Pro, uh, or Juggernaut Pro, which is doesn't give you more damage because it gives you quite a bit of damage, and you should be good enough to not, because basically the only way you're going down is if you run into a group of zombies or you get trapped. So you don't really need more uh, damage, uh, uh, or more damage being able to take. So what I said was extra bullet damage, or extra, yeah, extra gun damage. For the reason that extra gun damage would be a whole lot more helpful than more health. Like, regardless of pack punch or not, it'd be really helpful at the higher end. So like, for example, Syndicate's round 80 playthrough on Kino, like, he could shoot a whole M16 pack punch into a guy, into zombies, and not kill him, which was just crazy. Uh, so with this, you could still kill those guys, which would be really great, honestly. Uh, moving on to oh, yeah, Mule Kick Pro now. Basically, what Mule Kick Pro is extra, extra grenades, extra equipment, or, or and or really, um, an extra perk. Uh, basically, because the only way you can get extra perks is through doing like challenges. So if you got a pro uh, perk that allows you to get another one, then that perk doesn't take up a slot. Which would be really handy. Of course, like for maps like not clear on Totem where you can't actually get any other perks, it wouldn't be that useful uh, except for the grenade part. So if you kept them together, that'd be pretty helpful. Uh, speed cola now is basically you switch your weapons faster and you, yeah, basically you just switch your weapons faster because that's pretty much what it does in uh, or will. Yeah, that's what it will do in Marvel 50, which just seems more logical than aiming down. It's slightly faster. Uh, and, uh, and Deadshot, the last one, is basically less recoil and also FMJ. Basically, the FMJ part I got from Syndicate because I couldn't think of any better ones to choose from. Because, uh, I, I, like, less recoil isn't worth that because basically how many times have you actually hit fired and whatnot uh, so that's all the perks that I'd like pro and that's basically oh shit, what dogs. I think would be the best and uh, now how would you get them pro basically to get perks pro you would have to do stuff like like maybe you, you have to buy the perk and you have to take the bottle to a pack punch machine. Pack punch that bottle. Those would be kind of like down. Like it wouldn't be like an equipment spot. You guys know on Kino the Toten, the where like the film goes, it'd be kind of like that. And uh, what that allows you to do is basically, uh, you go like pack punch, and once you pack punch it, your guy drinks it. So it does cost quite a bit to pack punch but it would be worth it in the long run. And with the, like you have to have that perk already. Uh, and for the amount, you can only have two, if you don't have the Easter egg, two or three, uh, if you don't have the Easter egg, and then you can have four or five, if you do uh, do the Easter egg. Because then you get quite a few, but you don't get all of them. And it costs a lot of money. Like three perks is 1500 or, or 1500 is a lot of money to pack punch. So basically those are my thoughts on it. Hope you guys help me to let Syndicate see this video because I think I did some pretty good ideas. And maybe he'll make a video of it. Like I don't care if he takes any of my ideas or not. Um, I just, like honestly, I think Syndicate is a great commentator and whatnot. And basically, I just, I want to, like, ask him some simple questions about his YouTube life. And right here, I did make a horrible mistake, and I shouldn't have ran that way. I know it's not the highest level, but I just wanted a short video for you guys to see. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to, send this to Syndicate. See you guys later. Bye.